So this is why I became conscious and open to the fact that the voice in my head that is telling me what is and what isn't, what I should or shouldn't do, what I can or can't do, what is, what is a good idea and a bad idea, all of those things are being told to me by this voice, it's a liar, right? It's a liar and it's lying to me because it's telling me what I was taught, right? Not what is in the future and what is unknown, which is where we want to go. So that voice means well. Here's the interesting thing about this voice. We call it the inner critic or the little liar. So it's natural to look at it as a bad thing. But I want you to know that, first of all, that's not an outside voice. You trained that voice. You played a role in it, and it's been serving you to hold you back, right? A lot of times, remember, our greatest fear is not failure, I don't believe. It's that we're powerful beyond measure, and we fear that word, that scary word called overwhelm, right? So doesn't it make sense that we have pre-installed things into our brain to hold us back from success so we don't have to experience overwhelm? So that voice means well, but it's been trained over the years to protect the subconscious mind. The little liar, that little voice, that little person, I think it's a man, um, is there to protect the subconscious analytical mind's position on things. So think about it. Why would you create a voice that could tell you that you couldn't do something? I'll tell you why. It's there to protect something. It's, pro it's there to protect this program subconscious mind. All these things learned from yesterday. So how do we break this pattern? So let's move into something forward moving and solution focused. How do we break this pattern and free ourselves from this mental prison and prison guard? It's a prison guard. So if you have this mental prison and your mental prison is yesterday, the known, so the little liar, that little voice in your head, if you want to have fun and just imagine what it looks like. In fact, I've had a lot of people draw or show me pictures what their little liar looks like. A lot of fun. So please give me that feedback. Um, but it's a prison guard. And it's been identified as a little liar, right? Because it's completely lying to you. So first, first step, recognize it. Remember, become open in an open state, that's when you can become conscious. You don't have to decide what you're going to do with it, but you just start by recognizing it and becoming curious about it. That's a wonderful approach. Get curious. One of the things that we struggle with when we recognize things is we think that we have to completely unpack it and solve it. No, just get curious and question it, just like kids do. Kids, if they don't understand something, they ask questions. Adults, they don't ask questions. They either accept it or run away from it, right? Get curious about it. This is where a lot of the solutions are. This is a conscious behavior to be curious. Think about it. If you are acting in a curious fashion right now, that is a conscious behavior. So if you want to access more of that conscious, um, access more of that conscious 5%, make it 6%, just do it by getting curious. Ask questions. I teach my kids to ask questions all the time. So the question, the known, and become, oh no, then question the known and become curious of the unknown. So if you question the known, it unveils, it gives rise to the potential for the unknown. So check the facts in your life right now. I'm going to offer this to everybody. Check the facts in your life. Forget about all your concepts for a second and just check the facts, right? The facts are what the scale says. The facts are what you see in the mirror. The facts are what you see in your bank account. The facts are what you see in your potential for growth, right? Do you see forward progress right now towards your desired state or are you in a pattern of oscillation? For those of you that don't know what oscillation is, is it means are you trying to get somewhere and noticing that you're doing it in a rocking chair? forward, back. Some people in the diet realm call that a yo-yo, right? So do you have dreams that are not coming closer into your reality? Are you noticing that some of the things that you used to dream about, you no longer dream about? You've given up on them. Well, that's something I want you to become conscious. Be curious. Say, hey, what did I used to dream about? And is it coming closer? Are you resisting things? Are you noticing that you're resisting things? Especially, are you resisting things that you kind of know you need to do? right? Those are steps towards the unknown. So part of your little liar's job is to distract you, distract you from and resist the unknown. Remember, if the little liar is there as a prison guard, 
protecting the mental prison, which is the past, which is the known, right? Doesn't it make sense that he's there to distract you by saying things and 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 enhancing you to think and 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 think that you can't and things like that? So his job is to distract you and create resistance from the unknown. Not a good idea. Hey, take it easy. Don't overwhelm yourself. Step back. Be realistic. Those are some of the things that he says. Hey, come on, let's be realistic. Try something else. That's too hard. You don't have time for that. You know, you don't want to experience the failure from that. That's what he says. But of course he's saying that. He's protecting you from the unknown because he likes the known. He's there as the prison guard protecting the known. I say it's his job because that's it actually is his job. And by the way, you're his boss. You're his boss and you're the one that's been paying him and you give him benefits and everything. So I say it's his job because your consistent unconscious habits and behaviors have delegated this job to him, right? I'm telling you, one of the craziest phenomenons of human beings is that we hold ourselves back, right? And how do we do that? We create these little things like the little liar. We create these little things that hold us back to protect us from danger.